Let's take a look at Type 2 authentication. Those include tokens, tickets, and one-time passwords. Type 2 is what you have. It's something that you would be carrying around. One example would be a token device, such as a smart card. Smart cards are small devices that are in themselves little computers. They would generate a password based on either a synchronous or an asynchronous query to a centralized server. Using synchronized devices, they typically would generate a time-based password to correspond with the central server. So the idea here is you've got a card you carry around with you. When you're ready to access the centralized server, you would log in or access the centralized server through whatever software you're using to access. You would be asked for an identification for your ID and for the password. You would type in your user ID. Then you would look at your token device, and the token device would have a time-sensitive password that changes every few seconds. You type in that time-sensitive password, submit it to the server, and the synchronized server should recognize the token password and say, yes, indeed, you are authenticated. An alternative would be an asynchronous device. Very similar token device. Your smart card in this case, though, would use a challenge response approach. What happens in that case is you would, again, connect to the server, give them your user ID, the user ID would then respond, or the server would respond back with a challenge, saying your challenge code is 11753. You would type in 11753 into your token device. It would have a little keyboard, keypad with it, and it would in turn give a password that you would then type back into the server system, and that would authenticate you as a valid user. So the synchronized devices typically are easier to use but are just a little bit less secure than the asynchronous devices.